Hi, welcome to Free, Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and we are going to finish talking about the differences between TOEFL and IELTS and each skill. Today we're talking about writing. Writing along with reading are, I would say, according to me, the most similar parts, although they, uh, they also have some differences. First, we're going to talk about the similarities and then about the differences. The similarities in both IELTS and TOEFL, the writing is the last part of the exam. In both TOEFL and IELTS, you will have to write two tasks. In both, the time allotted is similar. For IELTS, you have one hour to write and for TOEFL, you have 50 minutes. You have two tasks. And the second task in both of them is an essay type, uh, an essay that you have to write. They both expect you to use formal academic English and an essay structure. And usually they also ask you about an agree, disagree, an argumentative essay to write about. Not always, but generally that's what they will ask. Your opinion on a subject like healthy food, children and video games, workload, telework, the environment, things like that. On anything really. Hmm. One more similarity. I mean, both exams, uh, both exams are rated by people. So no computer is rating your writings. There are people, right? Uh, two people always uh, scoring you. So there were lots of similarities. Let's see the differences. Well, for the format, we know that for IELTS, you have paper, so you have to write with your pencil on a piece of paper. In TOEFL, you will have to type everything. In the first task, they expect you to write a quantity of uh, words. In IELTS, they expect you to write at least 150 words for task one. In the second task, uh, in IELTS, they expect you to write at least 250 words. In TOEFL, they expect you to write from 150 to 225 words, approximately. And in the second, at least 300 words in 30 minutes. They expect you to write a quantity of words. Unfortunately, for IELTS, you have to count or you have to count. And in TOEFL, since you are typing, you get the word count on screen. The first task is quite different. In IELTS, what they give you is one or two charts, pie charts, tables, images, and they want you to write about the things that are more important, the conclusions that you can draw out of that image or that pie chart or those two diagrams, mentioning similarities and differences if possible. So basically, they are asking you to report what you see. So they take into consideration uh, that you choose the most important features that you see and that you use a vocabulary that is appropriate to what you're saying. So there is a vocabulary that is for this kind of report, like showing the, the increasing trend, it's talking about trends in general, mentioning numbers uh, in terms of percentage or number, or showing that you can uh, identify that it, it's set in the future, in the present, if, if it's a forecast and you should be able to report it in a correct manner. In TOEFL, the first task is an integrated task. That means that first they give you a passage and you have three minutes to read the passage. Usually it's giving you three points uh, against something or for something and then you will listen to a lecture and giving uh, three points uh, that opposite to the points that you read in the passage. And they'll tell you to, to write about what you heard and how that contrasts what you just read. So it's basically also a report, but this report is structured uh, on the main uh, three points, usually three points that they present to you. Another difference is that in IELTS, they give you one hour and in that hour, you have to um, use 20 minutes for the first task and first task and 40 minutes for the second task. That's what they tell you, but you really have one hour and you can use your time as you wish. In TOEFL, 
you read a passage, listen to the audio, and then they give you 20 minutes for the first task. And once you finish it, they show you the prompt for the second task. The second task, as I said, is more similar because it basically asks you to write an argumentative essay. In terms of what you give, TOEFL is more vague in, when, in what they ask you to, as long as the reader can understand that you show some uh, good points and use right grammar, you should be fine. In IELTS, the rubrics are a lot more detailed and even uh, the highest score, which is nine, asks for a very, um, very good use of the language, including uh, everything, vocabulary, punctuation, I mean, everything, uh, absolutely, tone. So it's more detailed and, and well, that is obvious because uh, IELTS evaluates you from zero to nine and TOEFL evaluates your writing from zero to five. So it's easier to see a difference between a five and a four in TOEFL uh, than from a nine and an eight in IELTS. The difference is more subtle and there are um, more details that they, they take into account. Now to finish with these two exams, uh, for IELTS it'll take a little bit longer to get your results. You can see them online but uh, for it, but you really need to go and, and get a paper with the, with your score. Well, they can mail them to the university you are applying to. In TOEFL, even before you, um, when you are, when you are registering, you can say uh, to which university you want them to send the results. And after you get the results, you can also tell them if they should send the results or not send the results to the universities you want. There's a limited number of universities you need. You can, for the first fee, you can send the, the results for the fee and then you can pay extra to send it to uh, more universities. And same for IELTS, you need to pay if you need, if you want them to send them because they have to send the results themselves. You cannot send your, the results you got. They do it directly to the university. That said, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. Uh, come in, tell me which exam have you taken, which exam will you take, uh, how are you preparing for it, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.